press conference. To the pro I will let you know a little bit about the program for this evening. Start off at 6.40 p.m. We have a picket canoe lifestyle show for you on the stage. And then by 7 p.m. time, the press conference will be held on the stage run by Kikita Yayaku, our famous face here at Phuket. And after that, oh, apart from that, we also would like to invite all the press and media if you arrive in the area. Please register at our registration table. We're also going to have a uh, lucky draw for all the media and press this evening as well with our prize. The third one is the... The, the second one is our digital cover. And oh, the, the third one is the mobile phone. I wrote it myself and I cannot actually read my own handwriting. <laughs> they didn't inform me though away to you tonight so we'll see and the first prize for tonight is a video camera so you know all the press and media if you are in the area please register and we hope to be giving you a lot of information about Phuket Carnival if this is your first time here in Phuket you may be wondering what are we doing here right here in Patong. Patong is one of the very famous beach actually most famous beach here in Phuket and to officially open our high season the tourism season here on the island we host the Dark Carnival, Carnival for several years and tonight is our press conference to mark this beautiful beach of the island.
Governor Pickett, but our mayor, as well as Thai Beverage Manager as well, who organized the event for from the 15th until the 20th of December this year. But to give you a little idea of what is Phuket Carnival, we have our special show tonight. It's Phuket Carnival Live and Style Show. And without further ado, you already see some of them around here. I think you would like to see the show
here from the five, six day one. The last performance actually about boat floating ceremony of the CGC village people. But to get to more in detail about that, I think we'll have to wait until December 15th. Now it's time for our press conference where we are, where we have our guest owner, the Vice Governor of Phuket, with our mayor and our Sentai Reverend managers. But I will let um, our direct tech here invite all of them officially. Phuket Carnival this year. Yes, uh, this year, uh, we went to Phuket Carnival as Patong. Uh, at first day, we, in the morning, we had uh, for like uh, Mang celebration. And after that, in the evening, afternoon, then we have a carnival. And we have many, many carnival this year. And after that, uh, on the 15th, that we open the event here in Batong, Phuket Carnival 2011. And on 16th, we have an uh, event for the cleaning day, like under uh, sea, yes, under the water, diving and, and collects all the garbage competition. And after that, every day, we have many, many uh, superstar, like for example, Eka Chai, Zivi Chai, Mai Birom Khan, and also many yeah, Thai superstar, yes, Thai superstar, because also we have two different states, yes, one state is yeah, organized by municipality, and one state in football uh, stadium, there we Thai uh, government organized the superstar. So, this year, I think we're doing the big, biggest event more than any years before, 26 years. So, this will be a good uh, event this year. Which stage would you think would be best for the foreign tourists or residents to see? I think Bangla, Bangla uh, State, because even this event is organizing by us, and we have also many culture like uh, university, many many university, many many high school. They are champions for uh, superstar, champion for singing contest on TV. So I think this is uh, perfect for tourists. We've seen at the press conference the Rajapat University doing a demonstration of uh, dancing. Uh, sort of Indian Ramayana, I think, like the Sea Gypsy Dance, very, very impressive, almost a big event in itself. Yes, yes also, we have also Rajapat uh, organized the uh, event also here, and also the Paris come from Rajapat also, so it should be very nice and perfect for the tourists to come and see. The parade is a big event, where does it start and where does it finish? Uh, they start from Hangman uh, Road and finish uh, that's at 5 o'clock on the 15th. Yes, we're going to clear the road. We're going to clear all the car, all the motorbike on the Tawibong road. So we allow them to get into Tawibong road until midday. So after midday, no car, no tuk tuk, nothing there. So, so you would like the tourists to see the parade. And not to see the traffic jam. No. The traffic jam, yes, the event, of course, but, you know, any event will be, because many people come, so the traffic, you have to understand about the traffic jam. But, you know, we close the road completely, uh, Tawibong road, because we don't want uh, 
the, the motorbike or the tuk tuk or the car mixing with the parade. So it'll be a bit like Soi Bang Lao now. The beach, yes. uh, the beach road will be a walking street. Yes, as well. That's correct. But just temporarily. Yes. For every night? No. Just the first night. Just the first night. But in the future, you know, that is my plan. That's why I go with my team to Europe. To Switzerland because I like them to see the sermons uh, in Switzerland that they allow only the electric car to go inside. What about Soi Bangla? Will it still be only walking street in the evening or all day? Uh, at, the, at the beginning, we doing only in the evening, but in the future, if we can take all electric wire and all the wire from telecom underground, uh, it's possible we want to do uh, like uh, walking street and not allow the Quick, quick word before it gets too noisy. What about the one-way system? Will it change? Uh, now we do in public hearing. When the public hearing and we make uh, also many things finish, then you know we don't want to do a lot of budget. So if everything okay, then we change it. All right, we better stop. We don't okay. hear you now. Okay.